Hi everyone! In today's video we're going to be talking about some mindfulness games and exercises. These games are great to play in groups. Um, they're really effective to get your students in tune with themselves, with their emotions, their physical bodies. So stay tuned, let's check it out. This next game is called Feelings Creatures. So just like the last game, you'll need a pen, paper, pencils, markers, anything to get creative. In this game, you'll start off by asking your students, if feelings were living things, what would they look like? What color hair would they have? Do they have maybe four limbs? What do they look like? Start by creating a list of feelings that your students know, and such as anger, sadness. Try to explore really um, specific emotions as well, like frustration or joy, something more specific than just happiness and sadness. So once you've got a good list of emotions going, have the students pick out their favorite emotion or something, an emotion that they're connected with, or maybe an emotion that they're feeling that day. Once they've picked out their emotion, ask them to take their piece of paper and draw what they think that emotion looks like if it were to have a body. What kind of hair would it have? What kind of limbs would it walk on two feet? Does, what color does the emotion have? After they've had time to complete their drawing, allow some time to imagine how this emotion creature might move through space. So do they walk really slowly? Do they have a hunch in their shoulders? Do they walk really with a proud chest? After a little practice time, invite the students to perform their emotion creature for other people. See if you can notice the differences between the two emotions. Even you might try having the two emotion creatures interact with one another and see what might come of that. This is a really great mindfulness game to really tap into our, how our bodies feel when we're inhabiting these emotions, such as frustration, anger, happiness, joy, things like that. 